Hey guys, ooh, this is really close. There we go. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Chris, and this is my lovely wife, Corinne. There we go. I finally got her on. Uh, so I thought we can do some little topic discussions, like maybe once a week, maybe on a Saturday or Sunday, whatever we can do. And uh, she agreed to do it just this month. And if she likes it, maybe we can do it again. We'll see. <laughs> So, um, I asked people on Instagram to send in topics, but no one really did, so, um, I just came up with some, and they're all in here, she doesn't know what they are, so she's going to do the honors and pick one, and we are going to discuss, discuss it. So what did she get? Our haunted house. <laughs> what a perfect, what a perfect topic. So, um, if you watched my channel, you've known that uh, there has been incidences in our houses that are in our, well, our houses. Our well, our living uh, uh, accommodations. Uh, not just this house, but we uh, in our little crappy apartment stuff has happened too. But it's mostly here. Um, but in my other videos, I do talk about it. But she hasn't really talked about it, and I guess she's had some incidences. Um, that I have not discussed. I've only discussed with my stuff. So, what was the first one? Well, two years ago, when Alex got his first remote control car, it would move on its own. That's right. That's right. Um, with the bottom turned off and the remote control up on a bookshelf, and it would back up and turn and go on reverse, and it's just some crazy stuff. Yeah, um, he got that from my dad from. Um, Christmas was it Christmas or his second birthday? It was his second birthday, yeah. And um, I didn't believe her at first. I thought she was full of shit. And uh, apparently, it happened to you and it happened to your mother. Was that mm -hmm. the one? And so I'm going. You guys are full of shit. Uh, I don't believe you. And then I'm downstairs. Uh, Corinne and Alex are upstairs, and Mom's downstairs. And then it goes backwards. And I kind of like stop watching TV. I kind of look at it and it goes forwards and it goes backwards again. And I'm like, honey. <laughs> and that's when I uh, started to believe in her. And um, I guess that's when shit started happening to me. Yeah, and Alex kept talking about seeing a girl in the bathroom downstairs and asking if she was cold and if she was okay. And weird stuff happened. And then. About a month ago, I was in the bathroom with Alex. He was having a shower, and the toothbrush cup moved about three inches to the to the left. It stopped and then moved about two or three inches forward. And, and I've, yeah, I've never creepy. seen I've never seen anything like that move. Um, I haven't discussed this part yet, but when I was downstairs getting stuff ready, um, I think I was bringing stuff upstairs for Christmas or whatnot, and then. When you go upstairs from the basement where I usually do my videos, we're in the living room right now, but when you go upstairs, um, mo or her mother, a uh, little TV room, I guess what I want to say, is like right when you leave open the door, and um, I was walking up the stairs, and I guess some papers went up in the air, floated for about like a second, and went back down, <laughs> and I was like... Just ignore it. Just uh, let's not even talk about it. But um, it's been pretty quiet lately. Or the fan that would turn off and on by oh. itself and change speeds. And we we had this we had this fan. Uh, it was electronic, and you would have to physically push the button. It had a timer. Did it have a timer? Yeah, you could put the timer on, but most of the time we never did. Yeah, um, it just had the three settings. It had low, medium, and high. But you would have to press. One button for the fan speed, and then one button for the time speed, and um, <laughs> don't look ahead. And then, um, but you would really have to physically push it. There was no, re was there a remote for that thing? No. no. So there was no remote, so someone would physically have to touch it, and it always, always went on. Even only in the living room. Only in the living room. Uh, upstairs, it didn't do it. Uh, downstairs, it only did it in the living room. And I think we threw it out. Did we throw it out? Yeah, we threw it out, and somebody took it, so it's their problem now, not mine. You're welcome. But that, that's basically uh, our little haunted stuff. But, it, like, nothing's really happened lately. Uh, thank God, and Alice hasn't really discussed it. Oh, Charlie, um, not Charlie. That was our last dog. Logan, 
uh, I guess saw something upstairs because was it you that told me or was it mom that told mom. me? Mom. Um, Charlie was on the couch. Logan. Oh shit, I gotta stop doing that. Logan was on the couch. He went up, he went to the bottom of the stairs and just looked upstairs for like, like, how long did he look upstairs? A few minutes. Like this a few was minutes. Like two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, I guess he growled, so. There's something in the house. If you believe in ghosts or not, um, I think we do by this point. Because, you know, how else are you going to explain it? In that picture? What picture? When we were in Montreal. Oh, uh, last summer, uh, when was this? August. August. I was home alone. Um, mother was not really here. I don't think she was here. Um, I was upstairs alone, and I was talking to her, and she was ready to go to bed. I was ready to go to bed, and I snapped a picture. I'll post it on Instagram. I snapped a picture of me giving her, like, this kissy face goodnight, and I thought it was all funny, and then I was like, ha, 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 here we go. And, um, she texts, I'm ready to go to bed. I'm ready to turn off the lights, go to bed, and what does she fucking do? She goes, there's something behind you. And I kind of look at the picture and go, what the fuck are you talking about? She goes, the wall, look at the wall. And we got this glossy coat of paint in their bedroom. Well, it's not our bedroom anymore, it's our son's bedroom. But behind me... Um, <laughs> we gave him the haunted room. <laughs> yeah, we gave him the haunted room. Uh, the lamp was reflecting off the glossy part of the wall, but in the part you see over my shoulder is you can... It looks like a face. And no matter you know who we told... Who we told, they go, oh my god, there's there, there's a face behind there. So, uh, needless to say, I did not turn off the light that night. And uh, I hated her for the rest of the, the time she was gone. You're gone, like, like four days? Mm -hmm. Yeah, four days, and it was just, like, fucking creepy. Because we didn't have the dog. It was just a cat, but the cat doesn't give a shit about me. So, <laughs> do it. You sound bitter about the cat. The cat doesn't love me. What we got? True love. Do you believe in true love? No. Why? Don't don't you believe there's someone out there for you? You. But we had You to just said no, you don't but believe in true love. We had to work for it. It wasn't like some mystical, oh my god, look at him, he's so beautiful. It was a lot of work. Fuck you, I'm not beautiful. And you were a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh yeah, like you were fucking, you know, a bed of roses. You were beautiful, but that's not what I mean. There wasn't this like uh, moment. So, so when do you have that off? You asked me out first. Yeah. Yeah, why did you ask me out? Why not? We were talking a lot. Yeah. So things were clicking and moving, but that doesn't mean I believe in true love. So you know, so you don't believe there's someone destined out there for you? Well, that's a nice thought, but unfortunately, perfect. I'm not perfect. relationships just take a lot of work. Yeah. And you've got to work on them. Yeah, so you don't just believe in love at first sight? Not really. I believe in lust in first sight. You yeah. can look at someone and lust after them. I believe in that. My dick my dick says what it wants. <laughs> it's the penis that gets in the way of a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so uh I don't know about true love. I I it took me forever. You know, if you don't the thing with love is, um my rule is, after three months, if you can't tell your partner that you that you love them, then it, it's not going to work out. Um, it's the three-month rule. I said it before three months with you. I don't remember when I said it, though. Oh, it was after we went to a wedding. Oh, uh, Piranha Faces. Nice. <laughs> um, I'm July 1st. The wedding was July 1st. And, and we started, started dating. dating so For two months. Yeah, two months. That's pretty good for me. And you know how I am in the way I was raised, so Yeah. We won't go there right now. <laughs> Maybe another discussion. But yeah, that's about it. Can you put it down? Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey. You can't do that. <laughs> no. Why? I don't know. How dare you? Come on. Okay. All right. Deal, deal breakers, and friendships, or, or relationships. Well, we kind of know what your relationship is if I cheat on you. It's over. Yeah. That, that's what you basically said, that 
if uh, the deal breaker is if I cheat on you, that's it. But you you didn't specify anything else. You just said if I am I supposed to specify? Anything? Well, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. In the discussion point, I know your deal breaker is if you, if I cheat on you, that's it. And that's it. But you know, what what else would there be? Not like in our relationship. I'm just saying relationships in general. I don't know. I don't think about other people's relationships because I'm busy thinking of ours. <laughs> okay, what about friendship? What about it? What's the deal breaking that? Being a douchebag. You're being difficult. Hmm. No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me. You're, you're gone, woman. You're gone. <laughs> what? Nothing? Not that I can think of. I mean, obviously, the normal code of contact, right? The conduct. Yeah. You know, lying and, and, you know, just being a pain in the ass. Just, you know, the toxic people in the world who don't need in your life. But you got any toxic people? No, I've been getting rid of them. Yeah. I.e. work. I work people. Some of them. What about yours? My deal breaker? Uh, cheating is probably the biggest one. Uh, friendships. Just, just friends that treat you like shit. Um, AKA douchebags. <laughs> not, not so much douchebags. I know a lot of douchebags. Um, do, I got, I got some friend, well, quote unquote friends that are douchebags, but, um, uh, douchebags for different reasons. Um, I can go into specifics about certain friends that are assholes right now, but that's, <laughs> Let's not open that can of worms right right this second. Um, no, uh, for you, it would probably be if you really, really lied to me, um, cheated on me uh, by lying to me on going, like, if you kept something really, really bad from me. Not just, like, you cheated on me, just something that would bite us on the ass, like, down the road. And I'm going, like, why didn't you tell me? He's like, well, I didn't think it was any of your business. And it was just like, what the fuck, woman? I actually pretty much tell you everything. I, even when I don't want to hear it. See? <laughs> I am very honest and open with you. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Word. Now, you pick another one, and this will be our last one. You pick another one, and you stick with it. Shut up. What's that one? Travel. Where to go and why? Like after we watch that Shark Week thing, you go, babe, you want to go on a cruise? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, well, she's talking about cruises, <laughs> like on the big ships, and and we're watching no, Shark. Let's go cruising on a dinghy. <laughs> well, you don't know cruising in a car, cruising <laughs> smart ass. Cruising on a dinghy. Cruising on a dinghy. <laughs> so we're watching Shark Week, and um, and she's. And I'm going, I wouldn't mind going to the shark uh, watching or was it shark diving in a cage and whatnot. And I'm thinking, hey, baby, you want to go on a cruise? And she goes, what? So you can throw me <laughs> over into the sharks? <laughs> it's like. Hey, I know I can be difficult. <laughs> but where would you like to go? Not in the shark water. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not in the shark water. But where would I you want to go? to go on a Disney cruise. I want to go to California to the Disneyland there to Car World. Cause what I about the one in Florida? I'll get there. Hold on. Because I think Alex should have a lot of fun. No, no, no. I'm not talking about Alex having fun. I'm just, you it's know. the whole kit and caboodle. And then I want to go to the one. Shut up. I said kit and caboodle. <laughs> kit and caboodle. And then I want to go to the one in Florida. Yeah. I want to go to New York. Mm-hmm. Why New York? Times Square. But it's a cesspool. So, I still want to see it. It doesn't have to be where... Sorry for the people that live in New York. It's not. <laughs> um, I think... Anything it's... outside of, of the U.S.? Yeah, shut up and let me get there. Jesus Christ, see what I put up with? You don't even want to get me started. Yeah, okay. Um, some places in Europe would be cool. Like where? Like Paris and, and Italy and... Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to know where I want to go? You can tell me. Probably somewhere cold. I wouldn't mind going to um, Alaska. We could do an Alaskan cruise. I heard they were cool. Yeah. No, I just don't want to go on a cruise. I hate fucking boats. Um, uh, where else would I like to go? I wouldn't mind going to Hawaii. 
Yeah, that'd actually be really cool. Yeah. And, um... Because I've seen pictures and I've heard people talk about it, and, um... It, it's, it sounds really nice and pretty. Stay away from the meth addicts, like you see on fucking Dog the Bounty Hunter. You stay away from the meth addicts everywhere. <laughs> Not no, just but, in Hawaii. But when you watch Dog the Bounty Hunter and they're in fucking Hawaii, and then all they get is, like, meth dealers, or they call it ICE. And it's like... You're kind of ruining well, my look at the show. Look at look at uh, look look at where it's coming from. Right? Yeah. Um, the states. I don't know if there's anywhere in the states I would like to go. Um, maybe New Orleans. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun too. Uh, maybe Mardi Gras. Yeah, Mardi Gras. Do Mardi Gras. Uh, get some Cajun food. Um, where else would I go? Uh, Scotland. I want to go to Scotland. Maybe London. We live in London, but I want to go to the other London. Who's gonna pay for this? The imaginary fairies that give us money. Just, I'll, I'll send a link. I'll send a link of my address, and you and you send me money. They're really behind. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me so much X amount of dollars, um, and I wouldn't mind checking out um, oh, Italy. I wouldn't mind checking out Italy. Seeing all the the art in uh, Rome. Check out Rome. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Tahiti. Oh, uh, oh, well, oh, um, uh, Bali, no, uh, Bora Bora or Fiji or whatever, those tropical clear water mm-hmm. where I can actually see the fish. And they can I want to swim with dolphins. What's with your fascination with dolphins? They're cool. They're assholes. So I'm an asshole. It works. They're going to rape you. Dolphins rape. Okay, but it'll only be for a minute. I just want to touch you. <laughs> just, I just want to touch you. Because <laughs> we can't go to uh, Marine Land or uh, Sea Land, so. Sea World? Sea World. Sea World, Sea World. I know. Sea World. Sea World. Fucking assholes. If you have not watched Blackfish, I, I suggest you do. I grossed her out at this one part where they're fucking jerking off a fucking killer whale. It made me feel so much better about my own job that current moment. I thought, I, and I hope I, to God you get paid a lot of money to do that. Because I went to her and I'm going, what, what would be worse, jerking off the whale or the guy holding the bucket ready to catch the sperm? It's pretty much an equal thing there. <laughs> it was fucking gross and I don't know why they showed it. But it was fucking funny. I couldn't stop laughing. Um, do you want to do one more or do you want to end it? I suppose we can do one more. Okay, yay. Oh, sorry, I'll put it down for you, princess. What did you get? I don't want that one. Why? What's wrong with that one? I don't know. Ooh. That one. Let's, let's see. Ooh, let's talk about this. Oh, you mean marriage? Yeah, we can talk about marriage. So, um, when you go first, seeing that you wanted to talk about it. You go first. I've started all the conversation. Because this is my channel. And you are my guest, so you go first. You go. I love being married. It's the greatest thing in the world. There you go. <laughs> um, initially, uh, okay, um, should we? This, this topic is like, could be like days of discussion for our marriage. It doesn't just have to be about our marriage. Just, just marriage, about marriage in, general? in general? Okay. Um, you don't have to get married. There, there, there is no reason you have to get married. It's a piece of fucking paper. Uh, reason I married her is because I love her. She wanted to get married. She wanted to have kids. We fought about the kids, but we have Alex. She's fighting me with the next one. I said, okay. So she's got to call the doctor and they got to fix her. And I just got to... Pleasant. Pleasant. At least I didn't do sound effects. Marriage. <laughs> Um, I, you know, uh, marriage is hard. Uh, it's about, so, I don't care. Yes, I am difficult. Um, you are difficult. I know I am. Uh, but marriage is hard, marriage is work. Uh, we've seen, we've been to two weddings on her side of the family that have ended in divorce. Um, we've been together, well, we're going to be together for 10 years, we're going to be married for 9 years in August. That's very rude. <laughs> just crack and pop <laughs> with the middle of I'm talking I want a divorce no um yay shut bitch 
<laughs> don't call your wife a bitch. I call you a bitch all the time. You just don't want me to call you a bitch in front of people. <laughs> no, um, marriage is hard. Um, it's all about communication, and we hence do, the bitch. Hence all the bitch. About communication. No, we have a very weird relationship. Um, we've always had this weird relationship. Uh, it's more like a best friend thing. Because uh, she is my best friend, and that's what you want to really find in marriage is, is your companion, your best friend, someone that doesn't drive you fucking nuts twenty four seven. Because that's what happens. You, it's all about sex at first, and then something happens like a kid, and you think you have to get married. Cause, you know it's true. Because I've seen, I've seen relationships where they they are like toxic for each other, and then they try, and then they go, oh, here we go, we'll get married. That'll solve everything. No, it doesn't fucking solve everything. It just makes things worse. And um, I think we pretty ha- we have a pretty solid marriage. Uh, we don't keep anything from each other. Well, I hope we don't. And I don't. I know sometimes you do. I just do it to protect you. No, but uh, no, I I tell you about ninety percent of the things. You know, I don't tell you when I'm hurt, which I should. I don't tell you when things are bad at work. I should. Um, most of the time, I don't. I don't like telling her stuff because I don't want her burden. Uh, I. I just. You know. I. If I can deal with it on my own, I deal with it on my own. She's. And then she goes. This is not. This is not what it is. Uh, this. We're a team. You gotta lean on me like I lean on you. And uh, do I do it all the time? No. Should I? Yes. Um, but. I. I don't know. It's just shit. I gotta work out through too. But, um, yeah, uh, marriage is not for everybody. I'm just, my dad's been married four times. Um, I'm so surprised you managed to be married <laughs> once, let alone four times. I think the reason they got married, my mom and my dad, is because she found out they were pregnant with me. And I think that was the only reason they got married. I don't think they ever lo- really loved each other. And to be honest, I think I've been a burden. I've always been a burden to my parents, so... Um, yeah, so their, my ideal marriage has never been the greatest. She did find a, another guy. They've been married for like fucking... 18 years or 18, something? 18, 19 years, something like that. I can ask her. But um, uh, mar- marriage is a very odd odd thing for me, especially when I see my parents or my dad. Um, her, her parents never got married. Uh, her mom never got married. Her, That's your dad got married once. Yeah, the dad got married once, and that didn't end well. Um, what do you think? What are your opinions on this? Uh, on you're hours. gonna get what you put into it. Oh yeah, you. You get, know, yeah. you've gotta. Sometimes you gotta just work harder than other days, and and you know. It's all a matter of how important it is to you. A lot of people get divorced over stupid stuff, and a lot of people, they don't bother putting the time and effort into it and just think because they're married that everything's going to always be hunky-dory and happy, and that's not always reality, and sometimes you have to work harder through the bad stuff to get to the good stuff again, and, and um, you know, as you grow as individuals, you also have to find a way to grow as a couple and, and adjust so people to change. life. and stuff like that right so it's hard to keep a balance going and and respecting other people's wishes as well as you know because i i I, i'm not the same guy i was 10 years ago when you met me and you're not the same woman you were 10 years ago you know i'm 34 now i was you know who i was 20 at 24 is is completely different Mm -hmm. and um you know, we work really hard on our marriage. Um, I can count on my hand, my one hand, how many times we've actually fought. Um, I don't like screaming and fighting. Um, I don't think it gets us anywhere. Uh, especially what I've seen with uh, my dad and my mom and whatnot. I just... Um, I, I, screaming and yelling, it doesn't solve anything. Um, I try to talk to her. Do I get upset? Yes. Does she get upset? Yes. Does she cry? Yes. Do I cry? Only when no one's looking. Um, but, you know, it, it is a constant, 
positive light. It's never going to be 100%, 100% of the time. Um, she is my everything. Uh, she's my uh, she's my love. Uh, I would do anything for her and Alex. Um, I have sacrificed stuff. Um, you know, you, you you think that um, your spare time you, is you, when you get married, you're always gonna have time. Honey, you're moving the, <laughs> you're moving the camera. Uh, when you get married, you think things are gonna stay the same. They never stay the same. She sacrifices, I sacrifice. It's all about sacrifice too. But you gotta remember that um, in the end, you're working towards each other and not just for yourself. Um, yeah. No, I work my ass off to keep this marriage going. And she works her ass off to keep this marriage going. And I wouldn't, like, if we, if we got divorced, if something happened and we got divorced, I don't want it to be one of those hateful breakups where um, Alice gets, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Caught in the middle. Caught in the middle between us. I want it to be amicable. I want, you know, us to still remain friends. And I couldn't even think of why we would get divorced. Uh, but, you know, I don't want it to be like our parents where, where it's just like, I hate you, you hate me, and we use the kid as a, as a crutch. I, I wouldn't want that for Alex, and I wouldn't want that for us either. Mm -hmm. But um, should we end this the way it is? Yeah. So here it is, the end of the first one. Maybe I can get her to do a second one next week. Hope, hopefully, hopefully, maybe she can write some topics. Or, or if people actually do watch this and they do like it, maybe they can leave a comment at the bottom. Maybe some topics she, uh, they want to know. Nice comments. <laughs> what kind of sex positions you like? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I'm fat. No one wants to hear about that. Hey, some people love chunky women. <laughs> yeah, this is going to open up another topic, but shut her down. <laughs> <laughs> shut her down. All right. All right, guys. So, you know the drill. Leave a comment. Uh, nice one, apparently, for her. And... Uh, and um, like it, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do, because I, I would love to do more of these with you.